Hey guys, how y'all doing today? So let me ask you guys a question before I, before I start the video. Do you guys remember a little game that came out on the NES called the Nintendo World Championship? If you guys weren't around back then, you guys probably aren't going to understand what I'm talking about. But for those of you guys who are around my age or a little bit older... Maybe you guys remember this little, this little, um, this little, this little game being, being featured in an episode, once again, of Angry Video Game Nerd, episode number 104, I think it was, when he did that collab, co bleh, collab with Pat the NES Punk, I think that's who it was, anyway, 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 I only bring this up because, um, it appears they're gonna bring that. They're gonna bring this um, this little uh, they, this little game out for the Nintendo Switch, but it's gonna be called Nintendo World Championship NES Edition. Oh, before I forget, guys, of course, if you guys want to download this video and re-upload it to your channel, go right ahead. I don't really personally care if you guys do or I don't care if you guys do. I don't mind. I figured share the wealth and it's good enough. Okay? All right. So I figured, you know, with no further delay, let's, uh, you know. So anyway, what I got for you is I got the Nintendo World Championships NES Edition Announcement Trailer Nintendo Switch. And I suppose with no further delay, let's go check it out. Three, two, one. Here we go. What's next for the, Ninten for the Nintendo World Championships? I don't know. I really don't know, people. <sighs> I really don't know what's next for it. I mean, maybe they'll bring it to like maybe they'll bring it to the to the Nintendo Switch. You know, as like Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Oh God, yes, I know. The competition back in 1990 was was for the NES version. The Super Nintendo version was in 1994. But wait, I just realized something. I just realized this. Why did they have a competition in 1990 and in 1994? That doesn't make sense. I mean, why didn't they wait to like... Why didn't they wait until like the Super Nintendo had, you know, pretty much ran its course, you know? To finally then do a, then do a Nintendo World Championship for Super Nintendo. Or just wait until the Nintendo 64 came out in 1990. Six, I want to say. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't. <sighs> Who knows? Yep. They sure did. Nintendo held the first event in 1990. By the way, that was a uh, year that, um, in other areas, it saw the debut of a certain phenomenal superstar in the WWF. Who went on to become one? Who went on to become a hall, become a Hall of Famer in like 2022 or 23? I think it was. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> yes, people, your eyes are not deceiving you. That's what the controller actually looked like that came with it. And now, imagine playing games that look like this, and in fact, they are good. But now, here's what I don't think a lot of people re remember about Nintendo back then. They also had a lot of games that were complete and utter garbage. And unfortunately, most of them were made by the same third-party company. And I think we all know what, th what three initials I mean. 
and their and their three initials spaceless spell out the words laughing, joking, numb nuts. That's right, LJN. Makers of makers of all makers of all crap. What? They they basically made games that were based on movies and the game and the games literally had nothing to do with the movie. So don't give me that oh Nintendo never had any bad games on the on its system. Yes it did. And then again you had games like Jekyll and Hyde, which still to this day gets really under my skin and literally makes me regret ever picking up a controller. Followed by events in 2015 and 2017. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me they're not even going to mention the one that took place in 94 that was for Super Nintendo? So they're going to mention the ones for the NES, but not for the ones for Super Nintendo? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Who's this? Okay, who's this dude? Okay, we got... Seriously, who is this guy? I mean, did he win? Did he lose? He competed at it. It's clear as day there. So, um, yeah. So, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get... So, wait, 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 wait. Let me see if I got this straight in my head. So, Nintendo acknowledges the one they had in 1990. They acknowledge the ones they had in 2015 and 2017. But they do not acknowledge the one they had in 94. Unless they're saving that one for the next for the next round of Nintendo World Championships. Huh. Okay, that's rather odd. That's a good sensation, isn't it? Yes, I do believe. Okay, okay, wait, okay, wait. Let me get this straight. Let me see if I got this straight in my head. So I understand this. You mean to tell me in 2015 and 2017, Nintendo held a Nintendo World Championship for NES games, and yet they don't even acknowledge the one that took place in 94? That doesn't make any sense. That one happened too. Kid, would you please sit down? Seriously? Do you even know what Nintendo World Championship is? It's only one of the most, it's only one of the rarest, hardest, fi- hardest to find games and one of the most expensive. And it's really rare and you're, and you're lucky to find a, re- and you're, and if you find a reproduction, reproduction cartridge, it's completely worthless. It's not worth, it's not worth anything. Really. <sighs> you see, guys, this is what I'm talking about right here. Actually acknowledging something that happened in your past is what I've been trying to get Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony to realize that they should acknowledge their past, not run from it. You notice how Nintendo Switch Online actually acknowledges their past, whereas with Sony, you actually have to pay like over 160, you have to pay 160 bucks a year. To actually get to actually get some of their some of their games, to actually be able to play some of their games that are from their past, doesn't make any sense, does it? Whereas with Nintendo Switch Online, all you have to do is pay eighty bucks a year. So, how does that make sense? To not acknowledge this sort of thing. 
Oh, oh, yeah. Mario. Mario Super Mario Brothers 1. Awesome. I have no objection to that being showed. Now, if they're going to show anything that um, is bad, then maybe I'll call it out. Let's see. See, that was fair. That was fair. <sighs> Lady, if you're going to call yourself something, why doesn't it actually just put your real name, you know, Yellow Killer B? I seriously doubt that your that's your real name, lady. So you might want to actually tell them what your real name is. Yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so what? So what do I think? What do I think of this video so far? It's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, but. At least they're acknowledging that, you know, the past competitions. Yeah, at least they're acknowledging the past championships. Whereas most companies, I'm pretty sure, wouldn't do that. That's pretty sad. And that, and that my friends, is really freaking sad. When you don't acknowledge your past, or you don't learn from it, you're condemned to repeat it. Yep. You're always going to be condemned to repeat it. Looks like this guy won. I'm not sure which... which. Oh, it's the 2017 one. All I got to say is... Congratulations, man. Congratulations, man. Nice. Nice job. It's hard to believe you won the Nintendo World Championships in 2017. Which I'm beginning to wonder if he still has that trophy in his house or, yeah, or things like that, you know? Wow. Uh-huh. In 2024, the Nintendo World Championships return. Okay. Now we're getting to the video, the point of it, anyway. Yes, in your living room, genius. Why do you think they're bringing it out on the Nintendo Switch? That way, people, that way, maybe people who never got to experience the competitions or never even knew about them, like I didn't, I never knew these competitions even happened until like years later. Wow. Dude, if that's your living room, here's an idea. Why is your couch blocking half the window? Why is, why is this part of, part of your couch blocking half the window? Whatever. Yep, Nintendo Switch. Nintendo World Championship NES Edition. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, boy. Wait, so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. So, you actually have to... You actually have... So, this game has, like, speedrun mode, where you, where basically you have to see if you can do it the fastest, or... Or am I... Or am I just... Or am I just crazy? Yeah, I might be. Wait a minute. This person got a personal best in this game? Wait a minute. Wait just a minute here. Now, here's a contradiction I found. Look at the date it says here. March 28th, 2024. Yet, this game isn't coming out until sometime later this year? That doesn't make any sense. At least not to me, it doesn't. Really? Metroid? 
You got to get a personal best in Metroid. Oh, boy. Eh, who knows? Wait a minute. So you got to get a personal best. So you're trying to get a personal best in all of these? Wow. So you're trying to get a personal best in... Super Mario Bros. 2, which is which is basically the Japanese version. Wow. <laughs> Holy moly, dude. Holy moly, dudes. Ha. Yeah, this is Okay. Okay, so what do I think what do I think of this video so far? Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Because again, like I said, guys, I didn't even know these championships ever happened until like years later. Matter of fact, I never I never knew these these happened at all until to like um until about like the late two late two thousands, maybe early two thousand tens, I think. Oh god. Uh guys. Why are you guys just standing outside and wait? Uh dude, why is your why is your front door open? Like wide open? Seriously, why is your door wide open, dude? You know what you should have done you should do in that case? You should have locked the door. Just to be on the safe side, because Nowadays, you ne you never know you never know what kind you never know what kind of person could break into your house. Wait a minute. So this is basically so this is a game you can play basically with other people, huh? And you're actually trying to and you're actually trying to you know. See if you can get what? See if you can get to the end of the stage first. I think I guess. Wow. This is really this is really cool, you guys. I mean, yeah, I might I might not be acting like it's cool, but it is. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. If this is the box it comes in. I mean, like, the box where all this stuff comes in? Yeah. That's sweet. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's available on the Nintendo eShop. July 18, 2024. Digital version pre-orders are available now, and digital and deluxe set pre-orders are available soon. <laughs> okay, who's this guy? Is he this guy's roommate or something? Is it like his brother? Stepbrother? His father? His cousin? I don't know. Beats me. Wait, Jeff Hansen was the 1990 Nintendo World Champion? So the guy who won the who won the top, won the competition in 1990 makes a cameo in the video at the very end. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome, and I'm and I'm fine with that. Yeah, and I'm fine and I'm fine by that. So, yeah. So, what do you guys think of this video, huh? So, if you guys did enjoy this video, 
why don't you go ahead and leave a like, share your thoughts, and leave and leave and leave you know comments for me to see of other game trailers or things like that. You might you might want to might want yeah you might want me to react to. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Share this video out if you wish. Click the bell to be notified of future videos. And guys, do not forget to be safe, to be careful, and you guys take care of yourselves, okay? I love you all very much. Until next time. Later, fam squad.